click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a numericals uh, that is a problem based on properties of Z transform. But before moving to problems, first of all, I just want to tell you one thing. My suggestion is please go through all the properties that we have studied in previous videos. Now, first of all, what is the problem number one? Find the Z transform and with its ROC of X of N is given N plus 1 into U of N. Now, first of all, what we are going to do, we will multiply U of N inside this bracket. So, what you will get? N into U of N and then simply U of N. Now, N into U of N is given. What do you mean by n into u of n? n into u of n means what? We have to use a differentiation property. So we'll differentiate u of n only once because we have only n over there. And then plus u of n. u of n means a simply z transform u of n. Now we'll see first of all the solution. The solution of x of n, n plus 1 into u of n. First of all, as I said, multiply u of n inside this bracket. What you will get? Now, apply Z transform on both the sides. Now, we can use a linearity property over here. So, according to linearity property, we can obtain a Z transform of N into U of N and U of N separately. So, Z transform of U of N. We have already calculated this U of N Z transform while solving the Z transform of unit step sequence. Now, we just go through that video so that you will get what is the result of U of N. I know that the U of N Z transform is Z upon Z minus 1. Now, and next part, we have N into U of N. Here, we have to use a differentiation property. Here, the value of N or you can say the order of N is 1, which means we have to differentiate this U of N only once. If the order of N is 2, then we have to differentiate this U of N twice. Now, we'll use first of all differentiation property and then we'll move on to U of N Z transform. Z trans of U of N is Z upon Z minus 1. Now, what we have? In the second part, we have N into U of N. N into U of N means what? We have to find out or we have to use a differentiation property. And according to differentiation property, what we can say that? N into U of N is minus Z into D by DZ of U of Z. Now, the next part is, what is U of Z? That we have already calculated Z upon Z minus 1. So, I will place u of z value by z upon z minus 1. Now, what is the next step? We are going to find out a differentiation of z upon z minus 1. Which formula you will use? Of course, u by v. A differentiation formula of u by v. We know that v into derivative of u minus u into derivative of v upon v square was the formula. So, n into u of n, z transform is minus z into, we know that, a derivative property. z is my u and z minus 1 is my v. So, first of all, v into derivative of u. v means z minus 1, I will write as it is, into derivative of u. We are going to differentiate that u value with respect to z. So, actually we are differentiating z with respect to dz and the value is, answer is 1. Now, minus u into derivative of v. If we differentiate this value, then constant value is 0 and differentiation of z is again 1. So, we have only z over here and that will be multiplied by 1 upon z minus 1 the whole square which is a v square. 
look at here if i open this bracket then what you will get z minus z will get cancel and minus 1 into minus z will be a z and this is nothing but a z transform of n into u of n now already we have got z transform of u of n and now we have calculated n u of n z transform so my x of z equation will be now look at here this is nothing but the z transform of u of n and the roc of this part is always always mod z is greater than 1 similarly look at this this is nothing but the z transform of n into u of n here we have a u of n which means this one is also having a roc and it is also mod z is greater than 1 which means if you are going to calculate the roc of both this function or overall function then the roc of total function will remain same and it is nothing but mod z is greater than 1 and now we'll plot the roc graph for this function Now look at here. This part gives us a ROC which is greater than one. This part is also giving us a ROC which is greater than one. So combinedly we can say that the ROC of whole function is mod z is greater than one. Now mod z is greater than one means what? We have to plot a unit circle and your ROC of x of z is available outside the unit circle or you can say that outer part of unit circle. this is our unit circle and according to ROC your ROC is available on outer part of unit circle or you can say the outmost part of unit circle that's why this is nothing but the ROC of x of z so this is all about the properties and the, you can say that the use of property and the ROC of that function so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and subscribe ekeda for further more videos thank you so much